The debate next turns from whether Jesus is a true teacher to whether he is the Messiah. Look at verse 25. At that point, some of the people of Jerusalem began to ask, isn't this the man they're trying to kill? Here he is speaking publicly, and they are not saying a word to him. Have the authorities really concluded that he is the Messiah? They ask, could this guy be the Messiah? But several objections are raised. The first objection revolves around a Jewish tradition that the Messiah would appear suddenly and no one would know where he came from. In verse 27, some people claim, we know where this man is from. When the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. So some deny Jesus the Messiah because they know where he came from, Nazareth and Galilee. Now there is irony here in John's gospel because John's readers know that Jesus is not originally from Nazareth. He was born in Bethlehem, an issue that will come up shortly. His true origin, however, is not even Bethlehem. It's heaven or from above, a point that's made again and again in John's gospel. The debate over whether Jesus is the Messiah continues in verse 40. On hearing his words, some of the people said, surely this man is the prophet. We've discussed this title before. By the prophet, they're probably referring to the prophet like Moses of Deuteronomy 18.15 where Moses says that God would one day raise up a prophet like me and that they must listen to him. This prophet like Moses, as we've said, became a figure of messianic expectations in first century Judaism. While some say Jesus is the prophet, in verse 41, others say he is the Messiah. By this they mean the promised king and savior from the line of David, who would reign forever on David's throne, a promise first made in the Davidic covenant in 2 Samuel 7. But a second objection is raised to this claim. The second half of verse 41 reads, how can the Messiah come from Galilee? Does not scripture say that the Messiah will come from David's descendants and from Bethlehem, the town where David lived? Again, there is irony here. Since Jesus is known as Jesus of Nazareth, they assume he was born in Nazareth. Ironically, they are unaware that in fact he was born in Bethlehem to Joseph, a descendant of David.